guys welcome back to my channel last we left was in Uttarakhand and today we are starting this vlog from a brand new city of Jaipur it is called we were Pink staying city. in Jaipur for two days so that's why we took decided to take our accommodation in ITC Rajputana we claim it's like the best ITC property they are like the ultimate luxurious hotel and I've never experienced such royal heritage luxury in my life. So this experience was pretty new and I'm going to take you guys with me. As you enter through the main corridors, you have this amazing view of the Jhumar which is all like lamps and it was such royal heritage feels. The interiors exactly look like a Mehel or a Haveli with these two double stairs coming down. It exactly looks like a Haveli. On your right side to the main entrance, you have this pool area. This is their main pool area because of COVID. As you can see, I'm wearing a mask already. The pool area was short, like the pool itself was short, but I would have loved to just go and like sit there because yes, your girl can't swim yet. All the balconies from the indoors look down to the pool and it was beautiful. DC Rajputana, of course it's pink, it's painted pink because they wanted to be a part of Jaipur that every nook and corner has to be painted pink so they try to replicate that so we have brick walls and everything is pink I just absolutely love this 360 view of the swimming area and we have lawns there are a lot of restaurants for you to pick and choose from we are on our way to a very special place which I've only seen in ITC Rajputana again very royal feel so like, like you know I'm some in a, in a palace which I absolutely love of course so this area that we are currently in is called the Marwari Bazaar so of course there are shops in this place there are lots of shops for you and little of course on the expensive side This also hosts our most favorite restaurants. If you've seen my birthday vlog, even there we went to Peshawar. It's a high iconic restaurant for all ITCs. Every nook and corner of the entire ITC Rajputana was designed and decorated, like keeping in the entire royal feel of Haveli and Jaipur in mind because there are a lot of palaces around in Jaipur, not just in Jaipur, in entire Rajasthan, it is called the State of Palace. Even though this is a hotel, of course, but I just love how homey and welcomed I felt. Something that I've not felt in a lot of hotels because it's different, but I don't know. I just love Indian architecture and I love the incorporation of Indian motives, styles. Everything just feels so royal and I'm all here for it. So now we are headed towards our room because of course room tour is necessary. So on to Q, Ayushi there. We have two cupboards and then the area to put our bag. Yes, there's a lot of luggage because we came from a wedding. Not mine, obviously. And then this is me. I'm still dressed up in my inner outfit. Look at this chicken bag and I love it. Like, look at those chunkas. Right, so let's go. Let's see what the washroom situation is. So, pretty straightforward. We have a wash basin, towels, soap, place to put our towels in, of course, cam card. Of course, hot tub, shower. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the bathroom tour. Going to the room, we have a nice king size bed, and then over here we have coffee, all those coffee stay and stuff, tea, coffee, everything, and of course TV. Those who want to see a study, and here is the best part of the entire room. This is the area where I'm gonna sleep, but we have outside this massive windows the best view possible and of the entire it's like a 
And that's it for the room tour. What are we wearing right now? Where are we going? We are going for dinner, special, special dinner dedicated to my daughter. What? Yes. Ye abiwa. Just right now. Peku. <laughs> Peku. No. What are you drinking? This is Bailey's coffee. <laughs> what is Bailey's? It's coffee liqueur. Oh. And I'm having a daiquiri straight up. Cheers. Our bar guy serving us food. <laughs> Barman serving us food. So as I mentioned, it looks absolutely beautiful at night as well. We decided to dine in Peshawari, of course. That's the place to dine. If you go to any IDC, like just make sure to go and reserve your spot at Peshawari and dine there. Really sanitized. It is like super sanitized. Even the glasses are sanitized. Do it yourself. Scanning menu. So far so good. One of the rules is that you have to wear this apron and you have to eat using your hands only. They don't serve any cutlery with the food. So you have to eat with your hands because that's how we Indians eat. After meal, I actually went alone for a little stroll. There was a small garden at the end of it and there were swings. And if you know me, I love swings. So I just spent my time there thinking about like how just grateful I am to be at this location. Like I would have never thought that I would visit Jaipur and live in such luxury. That was always a dream of mine, but being in that spot made me feel like amazing. Hi guys, I finally got time to talk to you because it's been so crazy. So yes, you guys know that we are right now in IDC Rajputana. It's in Jaipur. It's one of the best properties of IDC and like one of the most prestigious properties. And my father wanted to come here for a really, really long time. So we are here right, finally. And um, yeah, so we had a wedding that we had to finish. And now we're here um, in IDC Rajputana. Tomorrow morning, I have to go to Hawa Mahal to shoot for my content because you're in Jaipur, you gotta go to the Pink City and gotta see all of that. So yeah, I'm gonna go now and I will catch you guys tomorrow morning. It's 10, but I'm turning in super, super early because so that you will wake up early tomorrow. So see you then, bye. seven entrances so it has seven gates it's the only city in the entire india that gets shut at in the evening so pre-covid post-covid anytime it was the king who made sure that in the evening this city will get shot like there is no way you can go out of the city no way you can enter the city so yes, Well pre-planned city है ये हाँ पुराने सिटियों में ये देखिए इतनी चोरी रोडें थी ये डिवाइडर जो भी मेरे सामने लगे हैं देखते देखते ओह और ना महाराजा के टाइम में इतनी सड़क थी ये बरांडे हैं अंदर बरसात धूप मटर बरांडे के अंदर अंदर तो दुकानदारों ने कब्जा कर लिया था आगे तक तो ये गैलोट ने ही फिर इनको 
आज सिटी सेंटर है महाराजा के टाइम के छोटी चौपड़ बड़ी चौपड़ रामगंज चौपड़ एज यू लीव फ्रॉम द मेन चौक to watch the main street you see on your left side this beautiful hawa mahal the reason we woke up today in the morning hawa mahal is this palace which sits on the literally the end of city palace and hawa mahal comprises of 200 windows and it's so beautiful it's just 50 meters tall so i've always wanted to go and visit this hawa mahal and sit actually in front of it and have coffee or tea because that's what i've seen in movies and pictures and i always want to do that and i was just I felt again so grateful that i was able to go and see it there are two cafes where you can go and actually take great as bomb as pictures of course in the cafe it's always polite to order so yeah one is called tatuko cafe and another one is called the wind view cafe how do you feel hi i am feeling exhausted actually <laughs> in the morning i am exhausted <laughs> so it's like very 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 high uh, point <laughs> and it's like three uh, stories building and it's equivalent to hawa mahal you can see that <laughs> so now we have that height at hawa mahal we are like having coffee and tea and just exact bang opposite to this hawa mahal love you Yes, this is our view for today morning's chai coffee. Good morning from Hawa Mahal. I thought the view from the Tattoo Cafe was a little better. That's why I decided to go to Tattoo Cafe and lounge. And the name is pretty interesting. The owners are very interesting as well. But just the view of Hawa Mahal, like City Palace at the back, and having tea and coffee, like this is this literally feels like royals. Or as a kaha moka milta hai every single day. From the far, you see on your left side, well, on the screen, the thing that looks very tiny because we are so far. It, it is the Albert Hall Museum because we had flight that same very day. We decided to not visit that, and we decided to visit Patrika Gate, five minutes away from the Jaipur International Airport, and another great opportunity for photo ops. And we were at the end of our trip because it was just like a two-day trip. This is what you can do in the 48 hours that you have in Jaipur. I enjoyed, I experienced the cultural and rich heritage of Jaipur, and as, as in ITC, I saw Hawa Mahal, which was one of the things that we could see, and then I could also see Patrika Gate. So in all in all, my Jaipur trips, though it was really really small, I definitely promise to come back and explore the city more, explore Rajasthan as a whole more, and. And yeah, that's all. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel because I post new videos every single week. And I will see you guys in the next video next week. Till then, take care of yourself. Bye.